Hi, I'm John. Say, I'm Calvin. And this is Calvin, and welcome to Half Dozen Homestead. Today is spring cleaning. Um, fingers crossed we're not going to get any more snow, so we're going to take the snow blower and the blade off the tractor, get the tractor set up for a bucket again, and then we're going to work on cleaning some things up around the farm. Sound good? Sound good? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Let's get a piece of wood. So I want to make sure that this doesn't fall forward. So I'm just trying to think of how I can rig the skid to hold it. What are you guys doing? Okay, boys, get coats on. It's not that warm out. So this winter, we bought this. And I didn't have a long enough uh, pin and rotator thing here. I can't remember what it's called. So I hobbled together some pieces of Unistrut to make it long enough so I could get the angle I wanted. So we've had this Yanmar tractor uh, for eight years. Uh, we had a little farm before my wife and I made horses and we had an old 8N that worked well for us and um, as sort of the farm grew and we didn't quite fit us well enough anymore for just uh, this tractor and it's worked out really well we used it a lot on the farm and now we have this property together and now we get to share the tractor and both use it use it for all sorts of stuff. Okay, don't walk in the mud, okay? Come on, let's go back to the greenhouse. This way. So this is the Yanmar Quick Attach System. Uh, compared to skid steer, I wouldn't really call it quick. The other problem is, is any front attachment you buy has to be from Yanmar. Uh, there are people who will make adapter plates to go to skid steer, and I would totally love one. But they're probably like 16, 1700 bucks. So for now, I don't have one. I'd already purchased the uh, snow plow blade, anyways. So that was the big purchase for last year. The snow blower was the big purchase for this year. Most of my snow clearing, 99% of it, is done with the blade. As long as it's uh, four or five inches, I can fly through cleaning it. Um, as soon as we start to get over six inches, seven inches of snow, it's a lot. It's a ton for the tractor to push. So what we do then is uh, throw the throw it in reverse. We can snow blow. Okay. We're back to summer mode. So our kids cleaned out this and made it into a fort for a couple days. They enjoyed it. Now we're going to get it ready to house our general population chickens. Um, we're moving our little chicks into the larger area, giving them a bit more space. So we'll throw some shavings in here and uh, then we're going to catch some chickens. Sound good, Nathaniel? Yeah. Okay. You want to spread them in here? 
Our other helpers are wandering around out here. Okay, let's go catch some chickens, boys. The chickens are going to be so impressed. Hey, chicken! Yep. This is it. So let's all of this work. Okay. So your job is just to open and close this. Open it and close it. Watch out, dude. Okay, be careful though, because if you open it, we don't want them to come out. I they all frozen. Wait, are you solid? No, it's a new place. They're they're nervous. Yep, good girl. Nice. Good guys. This is the only rooster we should have in there, right? Yes. Okay, first ones are in. It is a beautiful morning. Bye bye to the Christmas tree. Just get the water just in case it gets out of control.
so since we want to put the chicks inside of our nicely cleaned pen here, uh, we don't want our door to the outside, our automatic chicken door opening and closing. We don't want the cats coming in because the orange cats like to live in here. Um, and we don't want the chicks going outside. They're not big enough yet. They don't know where home is. They still need all the heat lights. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unhook the automatic chicken door. This is an, uh, a door store door, it's called. And it's worked awesome for us. We've had this for, I don't know, three, four years, three years. And all it runs off of is a, uh, a nine volt camping battery that connects just with these pins here. Oh, that's so a big battery. I disconnect the pin. Now it sits there and does nothing. It will stay closed. So that's it. You can close her up. Try to spread them down this end. Hey! Oh! But that's a big one. Probably gonna need more than one bag. Okay, keep yeah. spreading them around. A couple of my broccoli are. Uh, are what? <laughs> are like. dried. So when I transplanted them. A couple of them, the grapes I mostly sell. <laughs> so, it might be a little bit. It's like they weren't really. Like, I should have probably rated them. They weren't rated up very well. This is a uh, golden lace wine dye. Oh. I think this is a. Well, summer. And then this is a uh, salmon faberal. They got the extra toe and hairy legs. Their legs are like way sturdier than the other guys. I think this one is a uh, blue Andalusian. This is, I think, a wet and true green or true blue. These are, I think, uh, that golden layer. Golden yeah, what are they called again? Golden layer. No, uh, needle hiners. Yeah, needle hiners. Simeon's helping me count, and uh, 37. I'm at, I think, 46, and he's at 37. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Five. Five. Yeah, only one of us counted. That's coming up. These guys are not happy to get roommates. I think they were happier with the old chickens. Mm-hmm. 